So if you have an Ender 3 Pro with a filament holder still on top and you want to move it, then the CR6 SE foldable filament holder can be your solution. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints. So like I mentioned in the intro, today I'm going to remove the top placement of my filament holder. Why? Because I want to put this Ender 3 Pro within a rack and because of the height from the filament holder, I cannot do that. So I need to find a solution. There are many other solutions like having a separate filament holder next to your printer, which is kind of okay. But in my case, I saw the CR6 SE with the foldable filament holder. So I thought, well, maybe somebody already uploaded something like that on Thingiverse, but I didn't find any, only the separate ones. And I thought, well, let's design it myself in Thinkercad. The biggest problem I had was with the hinge. I'm not an expert yet in designing hinges. And I think this design is quite okay. It's very movable. So I still need to make some adjustments. If you have some solutions or suggestions, then feel free to put them in the comments below. Also, I wanted to install it on my Ender 3 today. I can do that, but I still need to make some adjustments also with placing of the screw holes. Because the original one from the CR6 SE, you put it on the side, place it, you press a little bit, and then it snaps right on the aluminum profiles from your CR6 SE. If you ordered one. And if you didn't, then this can be a solution for your filament holder issue. So now I'm going to install the filament holder on my Ender 3 Pro. For the CR6 SE, the holder is located on, in front of the Z axis on the left side of the CR6. Well, I'm going to install it, but let's get into it. So we take off the filament roll. Just put it here, be careful of the end stop. And now we take the Allen key. Okay. that. Well, we take it off here. So you can put it in like that, but it designed it to put it in like this. And then we put the ring on top of it. And there you have the first part. So, and then we place the filament on the filament holder. So, and there you have it, a CR6 SE foldable filament holder installed on a Ender 3 Pro, making it a bit easier to put something like this in a rack just as I want. Well, I still need to make some room, of course, but the basic idea is I designed it myself and feel free to make some little adjustments or make some suggestions that I can do on this design. Well, I'll leave the STL file in the description of this video and you can find it, of course, on Thingy first. So, and there you have it, a foldable filament holder, CR6 SE style, designed in Tinkercad and added to my Ender 3 Pro solving an issue with a filament holder on top of my Ender 3 Pro. The link of this SDL file I will put in the description of this video. If you have any suggestions what I can adapt on this model, feel free to put them in the comments. And also, if you have some other ideas about this filament holder, feel free to also put that in the comments. So, and look at this. It's hanging very nicely and I'm very happy with the end result. On Zachary 3D Prints you find everything you want to know about 3D printing. Every Wednesday and Friday new upload. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and put on the notifications. 
So if you are still watching this video, you are amazing. Thank you. On the end card, there are some recommended videos that are worth watching. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri 3D prints. Bye bye.